You always see vehicles in sci-fi movies hovering and floating and zipping around in atmosphere, seemingly with some kind of semi-magical anti-gravity technology. I mean, there's definitely no propeller on top of those things, so spaceship mechanics, especially when on planet, have always just been pure fiction. But thanks to some engineers in Austria, humanity just got a whole lot closer to making sci-fi a reality. Cyclotech is an Austrian company that has been working on implementing a maritime propulsion technology called cyclosoidal propellers in an aerial application. They have been working on this idea for more than 15 years, and now they've successfully done it. As of May 2024, Cyclotech has conducted numerous flight tests proving their application of the technology. One of their main selling points for this tech, which they're calling cyclorotors, is for personal vehicles. And I'm not just talking about the EV tolls that Archer and others are making. While a few years ago pitched as basically flying cars, most EV tolls these days are pretty much just turning out to be electric helicopters but with more propellers. And as such, you're not seeing individuals purchase them, but rather the military or maybe municipalities that want to be at the forefront of innovation or perhaps attention. That's not what Cyclotech is going for. They envision actual regular people buying and using personal transport vehicles that have these cyclorotors. Basically, the Jetsons. They argue that such a reality would produce fewer emissions. Plus, with no giant propellers swinging around, users wouldn't have to worry about accidentally taking off the neighbor's head when parking it on the driveway. A safer vehicle, at least externally, is just one benefit that using cyclorotors would have. Cyclorotors should be much quieter than traditional propellers, especially at high RPMs, due to them not having the issue that traditional propellers do. Where there are different air speeds along the blade, the further out you go on it. Another benefit would be the supreme thrust vectoring. Flying cars, or whatever you want to call these vehicles with cyclorotors, would have never before seen thrust vectoring capabilities. The precision of where the thrust is sent is something we've never seen before. I mean, with just a couple of them on a vehicle, you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with what the Little Green Men in Roswell. This extreme precision, stability, and hovering would be great in other use cases as well. For one, how about safe cargo drones, like what Amazon's been trying to develop for years? Japanese logistics giant Yamato Transport is certainly interested in such an application and is collaborating with Cyclotech on a drone with cyclorotors. The tech could also be used to enhance existing aircraft. Think wind-defiant drones that need to be stable to monitor or inspect things outside. Or just perhaps super-fast helicopters. There's probably other uses for this tech too that we're not even really considering. Maybe like energy harvesting. For a closer look into how this technology came to be and how the mechanics of it actually work, I highly recommend watching Xeros' fantastic video on the topic. We are only at the very, very onset of this technology, and I think it is truly going to be a game changer in aviation, especially in areas where aircraft need to hover and be nimble. So I think if personal flying cars ever did have a shot of becoming somewhat of a norm, it'll be this tech that allows it. Private equity investors are starting to agree too, and Cyclotech has just accepted 20 million euros in a recent funding round, and I can guarantee you that is just the start of what's to come. This company is poised to truly shake up aviation, and I don't think most people even see it coming. What do you think? Just another EV toll company, or something much, much more? Subscribe to stay up to date on the latest innovations in aerospace because a lot is suddenly happening very, very quickly. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.